Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. Spirit, what messages please for Cancer? Messages for Cancer, please. Okay, Cancer, stuck in the mud. So Cancer, this is just making me feel like you may have felt like you were unable to move in um, certain directions or go through with something that you choose to. Right now, you may feel like you're unable to, um, it's almost like you, you can't do what you want to do or there's things that you want to do or you want to move towards and you're unable to do them at this time, all right? Um, also, I feel like there may be some type of anxiety here. There may be also someone meddling in your business or trying to meddle in something, okay? Um, but I see the bird going in one direction and you're trying to go in the other direction, okay? Um, this just makes me feel like uh, something about miscommunication between you and another person, okay? Because um, I feel like this communication with the bird is communication to me, okay? So I feel like um, also something with that nurturing, trying to find some type of balance, okay? Um, for some of you, you may be trying to listen to music to calm you because it's making me feel like gentleness. Try to be gentle with yourself, Cancer. Okay. Um, there may be also some type of family issue. Okay. And that's why you're kind of feeling a little stuck here. Let's see. Spare one of the messages, please, for Cancer. Messages, please, for Cancer. What? Okay. Okay, Cancer. It says Dragon's Lair. So, Cancer, things are going to start changing for you. Things are starting to, they feel kind of cold. And you may feel like certain things are kind of lurking in the dark, okay? Or you may feel like um, things are coming up against you. But I, I feel like a lot of this is mental. And that could be with that anxiety, okay? Excuse me. <clears throat> but I feel like... Um, cancer, don't do anything impulsive, okay? Don't move too quickly, they're saying, okay? Um, someone may be like melodramatic, like they just like to keep talking. Um, but again, this is making me feel like impulsive energy. So, um, don't do anything in a hurry to fix something. Um, <clears throat> really take your time to really review first, okay? Because if you can see the dragon, I feel like the dragon is like rushing in. And um, just again, like I said, take some time to review this first before you take action, Cancer, okay? Because they're really like pushing that to me to review, for you to review something um, because there is a stairway here. There's stairs so that you can leave or you can come or you can go, whatever you decide. But don't rush into this or whatever this may be, okay? Now, Cancer, some of you may be on a defense as well, okay? But um, this is uh, especially also um, bringing, going back to that dragon, this is also about transformation, but it is about de being defensive. So please, Cancer, um, don't rush in, okay? It, there's something that they keep saying, don't rush in, please. Okay, so spark. There's going to be a spark within you, Cancer, that is going to help make some changes, okay? Love, romance, um, just a spark of trying to, uh, loving on yourself, self-love, um, inspiration, moving towards your goals, being inspired to do something that you love. Okay, um, and like I said, I was hearing music, okay, so I feel like she is playing a violin, so that is making me feel like something that is going to be very harmonic, like, like harmony, something within you that is going to cause some type of harmony. Um, just seeking some type of um, time to self, okay, I feel like... Um, your mind has been going, going, going cancer. Okay. A lot of thinking here, but I feel like, again, like something is going to really like calm you, like something that's really like something. I just keep picking up this harmony within you. Okay. Let's get some dice for you. 
All right, Cancer. So we have the number three. And with the number three, things will get better. You may, again, feeling stuck in the mud, but things are going to start opening up for you, okay? Um, we have two fives here. And you know five is about change, Cancer. Okay, so like I said, both of these are fives. Let me make sure you can see. And um, no matter what, things are about change. So again, there may be something that may come up, Cancer, that is going to make you feel a certain way. It may make you feel kind of discouraged or make you unhappy. There may be some type of unpleasant surprise um, argument or disagreement between you and another person and that's why I said cancer do not rush in do not um, try to you know first review what you are uh, what is coming towards you and um, don't react so quickly okay um, also with the number five under the spark th there is something that's going to spark inside you that is going to make this change but again do not rush in I don't know why they keep pushing. Please don't rush in, okay? Spirit, what else? What else for Cancer, please? Um, cancer, you also feel like um, for some of you that there is something lurking because I keep seeing these eyes. You may feel like something is lurking in the background, okay? Mm. We have the Three of Swords. So, Cancer, there may be some heartbreak or hurt here because you're feeling kind of stuck. You're feeling like things are not going to get better. You feel like things are not going to um, move forward, but they are, Cancer. Things are going to um, start moving forward. Also, at the bottom of the deck, we have the devil. So, this makes me feel like, Cancer, you, are, you may be feeling kind of trapped or, again, you're feeling like you cannot move in a direction that you want. You feel like there may be toxicity around you or negativity around you that's holding you hostage. But you can remove yourself from this. It may also be something that's very tempting here. And that's why I said do not rush into this. Whatever this may be for you. Spare what else? For cancer, please. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords, Cancer. Again, don't. there's some news that's going to be coming in or something that's going to be coming your way, Cancer. Because like I said, I see this dragon rushing in. There's something coming in, but don't allow it to upset you or get you into like an um, uh, uh, anger period. Or there may be someone coming in to disturb your peace or cause more chaos. Um, but don't allow it to, just think about it first. Take some time. Think about it. Don't react. Spirit, what else, please, for cancer? Messages for cancer, please. Oh, messages for cancer, spirit. Oh. What's going on here? Okay, whoa. Okay, <laughs> cancer, with the five of swords, I feel like you're about to cut someone off. Or you have cut someone off, okay, and... Once you do this and release it, okay, but I feel like also with this five of swords, this is making me feel like, again, a, a lot of aggravation here. There's something that you want to cut out and release here, okay? But if you can see, and I know it's only a carrot, but this carrot is crying, okay? I feel like there has been some losses and some... um disagreements and aggravation here but again i do see this change happening okay i feel like you're going to be moving out of this phase or out of this state of mind that has been really trying to discourage you or move you um in another direction okay spirit what else for cancer they're sh they're saying something about nosedive so just um that's making me feel like don't dive right into something okay so this is also um with the number one this is about new starts new beginnings okay so i feel like something is going to be starting over okay but you felt like something was in disguise and if you can see the cage here you felt kind of trapped but you're releasing that and moving out of that energy cancer spirit what else for cancer Messages for Ooh. Ooh. 
messages for cancer please spirit yeah cancer with the five of pentacles you've been feeling left out and you felt like something really hurt your heart and you feel like it, it like whatever this is going whatever is getting ready to come in or whatever message that's going to be coming through for you if it hasn't already cancer there is like an opening a wound that has not healed yet cancer and i feel like it's almost like it's picking at you Oh, spirit, um, what other messages, please, for cancer? Messages for cancer, please, spirit. Uh, cancer, for some of you, this could have something to do with your mother, okay? Um, we also have the queen of pentacles, okay? So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, okay? But I feel like um, there's something, you may feel like someone is cutting you off or you feel like you need to cut someone off. But we also have the um, Queen of Wands, okay? And I feel like with this, this is, you feel like, again, I feel like there's a message that's going to be coming through pertaining to someone that you may have cut off already. And I feel like someone may want a new start or a new beginning or some type of change. But someone may also be coming in to try to aggravate your peace. Let me see. Spirit, one more card, please. A four cancer. Something about disturbing your peace. This could be a mother figure or this could be someone that you, this could be an aunt, some type of family member, or this could be also your spouse cancer for some of you. But I feel like someone is trying to disturb your peace or cause some type of um, disruption, okay? But I feel like you're going to be removing past this and letting it go, okay? Yeah, with the Knight of, um, sword, um the Knight of, sorry the knight of wands there's a message that's going to be coming through but again i really feel like it may be from this a queen of um wands okay there's something that's going to be coming through pertaining to this person or something pertaining to um what they want or it, again i feel like you may be aggravated and i'm so sorry <sighs> because i feel like it's a wound that someone tried to it's like opening but I feel like it may spark some type of um, reconciliation or um, love here to try to mend something. Okay, Cancer? So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.